Hello trumpet players, I want to spend a little bit of time talking to you in this video about our book, The Trumpet Hymn Duets. Trumpet Hymn Duets is a book of 21 traditional Christian hymns arranged for trumpet duet. I say on the back cover that it's hymns first, duets second, right? Trumpet duets second. And I do want to let you know that all of the duets in the Trumpet Hymn Duets book have previously been published as individual sheet music for trumpet duet. So if there's a chance that if you've already bought some of those, you're going to get it again inside the book. Uh, and I needed to make sure you know that. That's one of the things I'm concerned about when I publish stuff. If there is overlap, I want to make sure that nobody feels like they got ripped off. Okay, so if you've been buying, because there's some people, I think, have bought all of them. Right? And I just want to make sure because they've spent a lot of money on that. If they buy this, they're going to get the same music all over again. And I can, you know, but I just want to make that clear so that you wouldn't think that you're getting ripped off or something. My objective when I was writing these duets was to be certain that they were 100% appropriate for traditional Christian church services. And what that means is that I wasn't trying to be clever. I wasn't trying to be super, super creative. I gave myself a boundary, and that boundary more specifically was I was going to honor the harmonies and the mood of the original hymn. So no tritone substitutes, no jazz uh, treatments, no odd meter this and odd meter that. I can write all that stuff. You guys know that if you know my music. This is not that. This is music that stays true to the hymn tradition. And I think that's the most important point I want to make in this video because these are not just clever arrangements. That doesn't mean they're not fun. They are fun. People have been telling me, because, like I said, they're available already as individual sheet music products. And people have been telling me how much they enjoy these duets. That's why we're writing the book, <laughs> right? So it wasn't my idea to write this book. People wanted it. So uh, yes, I wanted to make sure that you know that these duets are not super, super compositionally clever. They're a little bit more technical than just playing the hymn by itself. Maybe a lot more technical, right? Um, and I'm playing one in the background right now. I don't know which one it is because I don't, I'm not going to decide that until I sit down and edit the video. Um, now, let me read off to you the list of hymns that are in here. We've got, in this order, Almighty God, and by the way, Almighty God is how great thou art, right? But how great thou art is um, still in copyright. Almighty, Almighty God, the original hymn, uh, it's the same exact hymn. It's just that how great thou art has different lyrics. So when you have this at your church, you can list it in your program as How Great Thou Art. I just don't want to do, I try to stay as far away from copyright issues as I can. So that's why I called it Almighty oh God, because that's the original, that's uh, public domain. Amazing Grace, O oh Jesus, I have promised. Praise to the Lord, the Almighty. It is well with my soul. That's one of the most popular ones. Holy, holy, holy. Uh, we played holy, holy, holy at a, at a 
a wedding one time. It was a Ethiopian wedding, I think, and uh, with chamber music. And they needed somebody to play something as the bride and groom, were, no, as the pr bride was coming in. And that's what we played was this arrangement of Holy, Holy, Holy. And they loved it. The, the bride was, was just like thrilled with that arrangement. Uh, Come thou fount of every blessing. O sacred head now wounded. I wrote that one on, uh, what do you call it, uh, Good Friday. It's a Good Friday hymn. And, you know, I think a lot of people don't do Good Friday anymore. And that's a shame, too, because it, it, how can you do Easter if you don't do Good Friday? Anyway, let's not peach. Um, Christ the Lord has risen today. He leadeth me. Jesus paid it all. Uh, be thou my vision. Just as I am, that's a request. Just as I am was a request from somebody on YouTube. Uh, on Christ, the solid rock I stand. America the beautiful. You know, a lot of people say, that if you're not from America, you don't think that's a hymn. American hymnals have that song in it. So, um, and I wrote that one on, well, not on, but for the 4th of July in 2020. Yeah, during lockdown. Um, what a fun we have in Jesus. That's one of my favorites. Uh, he keeps me singing. That's, to me, that's kind of a newer hymn. I, I didn't grow up singing that one. That's a, it's a, I do it in this arrangement. I do it first straight. And then we do it swung, but I didn't want it to be a jazz swing. I wanted it to be a church swing. If you know what I mean. I think those of you who go to church, I think you know what I mean. It's not a jazz thing. Um, I wanted that church swing style. We don't call it swing in church. I just don't know what they call it. Um, blessed Assurance. And the last one is Angels from the Realms of Glory. Now, the reason I called it Angels from the Realms of Glory is because that's the most popular title for that hymn. But that particular hymn has like about a dozen different hymns. What I mean is that the melody for that hymn and the harmony, the music for that hymn has about a dozen different hymns, lyrics that go with it. And Angels from the Realms of Glory just happens to be the most popular of those, right? So that's why I'm calling it that. I'm toying with the idea of a second book in the exact same style as this one but for Christmas carols, and specifically the, the Christian stuff that you'll find in the hymnal. And by the way, if that's something that you're interested in, please leave a comment down below and say, I want the Christmas carol one. If I get like 21 people saying, we want the Christmas carol one, I'll make that a, a, a priority and maybe we can have it ready this time next year, right? Um, but yes, those are the hymns that we got. Now, the, let's talk a little bit before we sign off here about the skill level. Skill level of the duets tends to be between what I call the trumpet player level. Now, trumpet player level is someone who just learned all of the 12 keys, has, is now proficient in all 12 keys, and most of the different basic time signatures um, now, at this level, their, their 16th notes are not an issue. So not a beginner, I would say uh, an intermediate player. So we have the intermediate level, and then the top duets are up in the trumpet master level. These are my levels. I, call, I have my seven different levels, and the master level is two levels, three levels higher than the trumpet player level. This is where the highest note is E above high C. And I think I did an inventory of the, the highest notes in the duets. There's two duets in here that have high D, the D above high C. I think there's two duets that have notes that, that, go, that go that high. Nothing any higher than that. 
So basically you can say it's an intermediate to intermediate advanced. Nothing really advanced in here. Intermediate to intermediate advanced level duets. And like I said, people love these duets. I think sometimes when you get your cleverness out of the way, it, the, the simplicity that comes out of it, the beauty that comes out of it, and I'm talking about it that way, not taking credit, because the beauty of these hymns is not mine. I'm, all I did was draw from the beauty that was already there. And like I said, my objective was to honor the mood and the harmonies. But the harmonies are what makes it, well, plus the melody, right? But those are the things that make the hymn so wonderful. Plus the lyrics. <laughs> but obviously we're playing trumpet, so the lyrics are not um, part of this. I did not put lyrics in the, in the book. Um, anyway, that is the Trumpet Hymns Duet book. It's available at all over the world, bookstores all over the world. Oh, and I almost forgot one of the most important parts. This book, it doesn't come with a CD, okay, because the, the people I do this through forbid you to have CDs inside and they forbid you to even reference an inside CD. But what I did do is publish at the same time two albums, digital albums, and one of them is uh, me playing these duets. Okay, me playing the trumpet hymn duets. You can get that album just by looking for trumpet hymn duets on your favorite um, whether iTunes or Amazon or whatever, uh, Spotify, those will be there. And, um, but then there's another album. And I like, I posted that so you would have an example to follow. Yes, they're on YouTube, but if it's everywhere, then it makes it easier for everybody to get the example in their ears, okay? But there's also a play along album. And I put the word play along first. So, um, I think maybe I called it trumpet, no, I called it play along trumpet hymn duets. I put the play along word first so that it would not ever, ever, ever be confused with the other album that is not a play along album. And so since they have the same title, I didn't want there to be confusion with that. So yes, you have now a and a lot of those sources, like having this on, this will be on YouTube, the play along recordings. A lot of these sources are practically free. And what I mean by practically, maybe you have ads or something, um, but you don't necessarily have to sign up for a service like Spotify or something to have access to the play along recordings, right? So even if you don't have someone to play the duets with, you have me. <laughs> I'm the one that recorded the, the play along, okay? Uh, you can play the duets with me. And it's both parts. If the, if the track says, Almighty God, first trumpet, that means I'm playing the first trumpet, you'll play the second trumpet. Then you can do Almighty God, second trumpet, and, I'll, and you get to play first trumpet. So yes, that's one of the most important things about this, is that there's play along recordings. Right? Okay. So that's the book. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask. You can visit my website at eddielewis.com to read more about all my other books. I've got lots of them. And my sheet music that I've written. There's lots of that too. And that's eddielewis.com. E-D-D-I-E-L-E-W-I-S.com. Okay? All right. God bless you guys. Thank you for hearing me out on this. I'm, I hope you are interested in the Trumpet Hymn Duets book. God bless you.